right, Stephen Key here, and today I'm going to talk about what do you do once you come up with an invention idea. I can tell you this, if you don't do anything, and if it's a good idea, you're going to see it on TV, or you're going to see it on a store shelf, and you're going to say, why didn't I do anything with that product idea? So during this video, I'm going to show you 10 things to consider before you do anything if you have a product idea. Okay, the first thing to consider if you have a product idea, how am I going to bring it to market? Well, you could venture it, you could manufacture it yourself, start a business, write a business plan, raise money, sell it on Amazon, order it from China, do all that, all that work. Um, that's a great, great thing for some of us, especially for everyone that wants to control the whole process. You're truly an entrepreneur. So maybe venturing is the right path for you. But there's another thing you should consider. Maybe you want to license it. See, I like to license ideas myself. Because I'm a creative person, I don't want to manage people. I don't want to have employees. I do not want to raise money. And I don't want to take any financial risk. So I want to license it to a company that's looking for ideas to take it to market for me. So the first thing you need to do when you're deciding, hey, I've got this great idea. Do I venture it or do I license it? And what's the best for you, you and your personality? Okay, the second thing I should consider if I've got this great product idea, how do I protect it? Now, I know there's a lot of people that are very fearful that people are going to steal that idea that you have. Well, I'm not fearful, and I do think there's always going to be competition. I always think there's going to be people that are going to maybe copy it a little bit. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So, first of all, learn all the tools that are available to you as an entrepreneur, as an inventor at the USPTO. Patents. Everybody wants a patent, but I'm here to tell you, patents are great. They take a long time to get a patent, and maybe you don't even need one. So look at patents and see if that's the, uh, a tool that you need to, to use. But also, there's other tools that a lot of people aren't talking about. If you think you're going to be selling online, if you think you're going to be selling you know, e-commerce, you're going to be out there, forget the patent, right? You need a design patent, what my product looks like, a trademark, a copyright. Those are other tools that are much more affordable. They're easier to get and they stop online sellers. All right. Trade secrets is another thing that might be important to you. But the bottom line is this. Know all the tools that you have that are available for us to protect those ideas. Don't worry about it. It's just part of the process. But if you've got a great idea, find the right tool for you. Okay, the third thing you should consider is your point of difference. Does your product have what it takes? Now, the best way to do that, the easiest way to do that is go down to your local retailer where your product's going to sell, look around, and make sure you don't see your product. And make sure you look at all the other products out there to make sure yours has a point of difference. All right, I would also do a Google image search. It's really easy to do. Look around, make sure when you're looking at all those similar products that your product idea has a point of difference compared to all the other products that are out there. And in some industries, you might even consider, does your product idea have a wow factor? Those are really important things to consider before you move forward. So do your homework, know your point of difference. Okay, the fourth thing you should consider, prior art. Are there prior patents on my invention? Learn how to look for prior art. Do a, a Google patent search or maybe even do a, a patent search at the USPTO. Learn how to do it yourself. It's not that hard to do. If you don't want to learn how to do it yourself, hire someone to do it for you. But you have to know what obstacles, what roadblocks or road bumps are going to be in your way potentially if you do file intellectual property. It's very important to know the prior art, what has been done before you to make sure your product is new and novel. Number five, budget accordingly. If you're going to venture your product idea, realize it's going to take a lot of money, probably more money than you ever imagined. When I was launching my little company to produce guitar picks, they only cost three cents to make. But when I got that first order from Walmart, it took a quarter of a million dollars of my own money. 
People have no idea how much money it really takes to start a business, hire employees, do advertisement, create demand, do a website, go to trade shows. You have no idea. So do the math. So you want to budget, budget accordingly. If you're going to license your product idea, you still need a little bit of a little bit of cash. You might produce a sell sheet. You maybe you file a provisional patent application. Maybe you do a 3D computer generated sample of what it looks like. Maybe even build a prototype. So you can do it on a very small budget, but you're going to need a little bit of a budget. So whatever you do, your venture, your license, make sure you have a budget to do either one of those before you get started. Okay, number six, consider building a team. I've always had a team. If I was going to venture or was going to license, I had a team. It's hard to do it by yourself. So when you're reaching out to a team member, someone that you want to work with, or even someone you want to hire, kick the tires on every individual you want to work with. Make sure they've got a great reputation. They've done it before. And there's nothing out there on the internet that says, hey, this team member might not be a good team member. It's hard to hide today if you've done something that's not quite appropriate. So whoever you're going to add to your team, or even if you're going to hire a contractor, an advisor, a coach, it doesn't matter. Kick the tires and make sure they're the right people that you want to bring together to help you with your products, with your inventions, with your vision. All right, number seven, manufacturing costs. Huh. You know, this is really important. If you have a great idea, once again, I don't care if you're venturing or you're licensing, your product is going to have to fit a certain price point when it hits the retail shelf. Most products have a, a range. It could be from $19.95 to $29.95, but there's a range of all these products that solve a particular problem. If you come up with an idea, and let's say when you start to manufacture that the retail price point is going to be, you know, $69, but the other similar products sell for $19.95, it's not going to work. So you have to understand a little bit about manufacturing. And you can do that by contact, contacting a contract manufacturer, get a quote, make, make sure they sign an NDA so you can share it with them. Make sure you file a provisional patent application. Also, great advice to, before you show it to anybody. But the bottom line is this. If you don't know what your product's going to cost, you're, you're driving in the dark. You're probably going to overdesign it. You're probably are going to be asked those questions along the way. And if you don't have the answers, it's just not going to work. I don't care what method, venturing, licensing, it doesn't matter. Know your manufacturing costs. All right, number eight. Realize this. A lot of people, they don't understand. They, they think it's a money problem. If I just had enough money, or maybe it's a prototype problem. I need to build a prototype, or maybe I need a patent. All these things you think you need and they cost money and they're holding you back. No, they're not holding you back. It's not a patent problem, prototype problem or a money problem. It's a knowledge problem. If you don't have the experience, you need to get it. You need to read about it, study it, take a course, go to the local college, find a mentor. I don't care what it is. It's always a knowledge problem. We all think it, if I just had access to the right person, it's not about that. You have to understand the process. You have to understand some things to do, things to watch out for. So it's a knowledge problem. Educate yourself. Okay, number nine, opinions. Stop asking your friends, your family. Hey, what do you think about my, my idea? It's great, isn't it? They're not gonna, who cares about their opinion? You wanna, you wanna ask people that are in the industry. You wanna ask industry experts. It could be a buyer. It could be someone that knows about manufacturing. It could be a, uh, a manager at a local store. It could be anybody that's in the industry that's really in the industry, not just opinion, not just an opinion you're asking your friend or your spouse or, or whoever, because they don't know the business and they're probably going to give you wrong advice. So be careful of what opinion you're, you're following, because I can guarantee if they're not in the industry, you're not getting good advice. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. Number 10. It's a numbers game. If you have one idea, you're probably, I'm going to say it here. If you only have one idea and you're going to bank everything on one idea to be successful, I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, 
yes and no, your chances are going to be fairly low. If you have a lot of ideas and understand the process, your chances are going to be far greater. It's the numbers game. Like anything in life, you have to play the numbers. So like I said, follow these 10 things I talked about, right? And work hard, find the right people to help you, get started, take a deep breath. You can do this, but you have to slow it down a little bit and realize to be successful, you're going to have to do it multiple times, probably fail a few times along the way, but don't fail in such a way that it stops you because you can do this.